Hi, and welcome to the casting couch. Today, I'm really fucking tired. So, we're going to talk about something that is really important. And that is timing. And, of course, as usual, we're going to talk about uh, Mercedes diesel engines, OM601, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. But this is applicable to other engines as well. And, yeah, it's applicable to anything and everything. Timing. So, we're talking OM601, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, right? So, let's say that you buy a pump, injection pump. And on that pump, you have a note. And that note say put this pump at 10 degrees or 12 degrees or 14 degrees something like that and you're gonna put your engine at this degree let's just for the sake of argument say that's 12 degrees so you're gonna put your um, engine at 12 degrees how do you do that and how important is that this uh, first of all it's an indirect injected diesel engine it doesn't really care and i would say that it care far less than you do and far less than the internet warriors on facebook so if you time your injection pump that's going to be on 12 degrees and you time that at 17 that's five degrees off or you set it at seven that's five degrees off i mean uh, we're gonna have a 10 degree span of uh, timing there and it will not give a shit it will just fire up like normal and run like normal on seven it might be a little bit knocky right and on uh, uh, 17 it might be a little bit sluggish but that's about it. It will not care one bit. You will care though. So it's not really that important. Like I see posts that people say, Oh, I got this note on my pump. I'm going to set it to 14 degrees and maybe I'm at 15. No one cares less than your engine. That's just how it is. Of course, we want our timing to set the way we want. And that is uh, normally not really exactly what the pump builder has in mind. Because the pump builder has in mind what kind of internal timing he set on the pump. And that internal timing is set to a factory specification. Right? So, we want it a little bit... Yeah, slower or harder. It doesn't really matter. You decide that. But the engine will only care if you're 180 degrees off. So if you set your um, crank marker at 12, you don't know if that is 12 on the correct stroke. Because we're running four stroke engines. So one revolution for us is 720 degrees, not 360. So we're going to pass this zero mark two times. So how do we go around setting the timing on our injection pump? We can do this in many ways. One way is to take the oil cap off. Is that the word for it? Yeah, I think so. So take the oil cap off and Inside there you can see the intake camshaft sprocket. When you rotate your engine clockwise, this sprocket will rotate anti-clockwise. So you have a marker on the far end of your sprocket. And that's, this is a drill mark. So it's pretty easy to spot and it's not inside the sprocket, it's outside on the cogs. And you rotate your engine and you're going to see this marker pass you. You cannot not see where it is on zero. You cannot see anything like that. But when you see that pass your field of vision, you can look down on your crank. And when you come to 12, if that's what you're going to set it at, 
you stop because this is the correct stroke. If you come to 12 and the marker has not passed your field of vision, you are on the wrong stroke. So it's not hard. Second option, take the timing plug out of your pump and you can see when the lock notch or whatever the fuck we're gonna call it is coming into vision right because that's the correct stroke a little bit complicated because you need a little mirror and you need someone else to turn the engine and you know uh, third option valve cover off third cam caps and our markings and I've gone through this when you're going to check if your timing is correct uh, before in another video. But then you check so the markings line up there and then you're at zero. And if you keep going, you're going to come to 12 on the correct stroke. So it's very easy. So this is how you do it. And you know that you're on the correct stroke. And you take your old injection pump off. You're now at 12 because in our imaginary world, you're going to have your pump set at 12. So you take your pump out, the old one, and you have a new built, fantastic, mega big injection pump. And you set that in. You have your lock tool, of course, your pump is at zero. And you set your pump in, and happy days, now it's at 12. No, it's not at fucking 12. Yes, because you set your engine at 12, and you have your pump at zero. And you put them together it's not at 12. this is exactly why you measure twice and cut once and it's still fucking wrong because mechanics works like that 12 zero happy days no never so what you do is that you mount your pump in the correct manner and you tighten the screws finger tight and that means all four of them. The three that holds the pump and the one for the pump sprocket that is uh, uh, French threaded. And when this is finger tight and no more and no less, you rotate your engine two revolutions and you stop at 12. This is important. You take your locking tool out before you move the fucking engine. That's what you do. But, however, you have now ro rotated your engine two revolutions and you have stopped at 12. That's this many. Right. And now you have taken off your, uh, your locking tool so it's open into the pump. You take your little mirror or your phone or whatever you want. And you look inside that hole and you're going to see that the timing marker or the lock notch is not in the middle it will not be in the middle that's why mercedes have a little screw on the side in the on the front of the pump on the side that you can turn to adjust your timing so this is what you do you turn that till the lock notch is in the middle of the hole. Now you're at 12. So what you do now? Happy days? No, mechanics don't work like that. So you rotate your engine two revolutions and you stop at 12. And then you check your lock notch timing notch thing again. And now if you have a little bit of luck, it's in the middle. So now you can tighten your pump and put your little uh, screw back into the, uh, to the lock hole timing hole thing on the side of the pump and you can start your engine and your pump will be at 12. Setting your engine at 12 and installing your pump and think it's happy days doesn't work like that. So think about that. And if you have done that and you're running your car successfully, it would be a good idea to see where your timing is. Because this is something that can help you in the future 
and help others. I have run my car for three years at eight degrees. I didn't know it, but now I know, right? And people will say, really, eight degrees? Yeah, I have this and this pump, and this works good for me. Awesome. And other people can get the balls to fiddle around and not just set it to the factory standard. Because many people want to run a little bit tougher idle. Uh, timing, tougher timing. Sometimes. Uh, so, and tougher timing, more advanced timing, makes it knock a little bit. But we have a timing retard device into the pump sprocket. And this is a couple of springs that compress on revolution. And those retard the timing really, really much, too much, honestly. But that's a whole other discussion. So that means that if you have your timing set a little bit harsh, it will still retard to a very uh, decent level. There are many people that run your, their timing on zero and they have it like 10 to 12 or 10 to 14 note on the pump and they run it on zero. So now this is maybe a little racy it sounds a little bit more diesel-y and so on. But as I said in the beginning of this video, your engine don't really fucking care. If you set it at zero or you set it at 20, it will start, it will run, it will be no major issues. But of course it will run better and it will run as you want it to run if you set the timing as you want it to be. So that's my five cents for today. Timing is really important for us, not so much for the engine. For your power is very important, of course. Uh, but that's a whole other question. So time your engine and your pump correctly. I know that many of you, more than half of you, have not done that. So go out check your timing. Bye.